If we saw that an intense electric field applied to some dielectrics can induce an optics effect, the Pockels effect, that rotates the polarization of the beam of light, we can also have a similar result with a magnetic field. This effect was the first manifestation between light and electromagnetism that was identified. Michael Faraday observed it in the 19, 1840s. When we place a transparent material in a magnetic field and polarized light travels through the material in the direction of the magnetic field, the polarization of light is rotated. The amount, the angle, of rotation depends on the strength of the magnetic field and on the distance traveled by light under this condition. We can identify the rotation beta as V times the magnetic field B times the distance D, where V is a characteristic constant of the material called the Werder constant. This constant actually can be written as E over 2mc times lambda times dn over d lambda, where E is the charge of the electron, m is the mass of the electron, c is the speed of light in a vacuum, lambda is the wavelength of light, so it is wavelength dependent, and dn d lambda is the change of the refractive index with the wavelength, also known as the rotary dispersion. Faraday effect comes from the interaction of the external magnetic field on the motion of the electrons in the atoms of that material. The electrons move around the atoms and the magnetic field exerts a torque on those electrons that affects the trajectories. This induces circular birefringence. This means that right and left circularly polarized light travels at different speed in the material and linearly polarized light can be decomposed into linear uh, combination of right and left circularly polarized light. When the circular component of the polarized light travels through the material, it induces the electrons to generate a magnetic field that can be parallel or antiparallel to the external magnetic field. This makes the overall magnetic field to be increased in one direction and decreased in the opposite direction, what makes slow down one of the components more than the other, which at the end of the day will produce this phase difference beta. One of the interesting aspects is that the phase shift will be in the same direction no matter if the light travels forward or backward in the material. We can use this effect as a Faraday rotator by placing the material and magnetic field between two polarizing beam splitters and one mirror. Vertically polarized light hitting the first PBS will go straight. We'll then meet the Faraday rotator that will rotate the polarization by 45 degrees. It will then meet a mirror that reflects light back to the Faraday rotator that will rotate additional 45 degrees. Then this now horizontally polarized light will meet the PBS again and now it will be reflected. This helps avoid feedback into the source of light, the laser for example, while you also rotate the polarization by 90 degrees. It can also be used to find magnetic fields out in outer space in interstellar medium, where you have an intense magnetic field, we can see that effect on the polarization of light that detect we here on Earth. May science be with you.